versions of the software. Hi guys, I hope you enjoy the breakout with Scott Hamilton. I am excited, and if you guys know me at all, I'm super excited because Jared Walker, Principal Software Engineer at Microsoft, but I have a history with Xamarin. So I'm here with the cool crew, the Xamarin kids, the cool kids. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Cool. My name is Maddie Legere. I'm a PM and I work on tooling for Xamarin Forms inside of Visual Studio. Yeah, I'm David Wirtnow, Senior Program Manager for Xamarin. Pretty much covering all of the mobile SDKs, Xamarin Forms, iOS, Android, Mac. All yeah. the goodness. All the goodness. All the Super goodness. fun, yeah. Okay. So, the last time, I'm going to just totally date myself. I'm sure. going to do it on camera. Huh? The last time I dealt with Xamarin, it was like Xamarin 2.0. Uh, Forms was like new and shiny, so <laughs> that tells you how dated I am. And, you know, my love for Xamarin goes all the way back to Zimian, Moonlight, yeah. oh, so I'm going to go way back, Mono. Yes. So tell us now, for all of the people who are, have been out the loop like me, yeah. tell me all the goodness that I missed sure. with Xamarin Forms, the tooling. Go for it. Well, yeah. we don't have time for everything. Come on, man. <laughs> but uh, but I'll, I'll give you the highlights, okay. right? Highlights again. So, so, of course, Xamarin's always been about native for iOS and Android, using C Sharp. Visual Studio and all of the great tools that we have. So uh, yeah, since those days, Xamarin Forms has grown up from that prototyping, rapid development thing into something really robust that companies are depending on shipping tons of apps, uh, high level stuff, very polished, beautiful UIs, um, and uh, both to iOS, Android, UWP. But then we also have Mac OS, we have WPF, we have Linux, we have IoT. So a lot of those things. So from an SDK standpoint, yeah, you love the IoT, right? <laughs> and then tooling, we've had a lot of updates there. We've had a bunch. So Xamarin is, you can install it straight through Visual Studio now, which is great. You just click the little Xamarin checkbox and it installs right there. Um, the file new experience is amazing. I mean, we have four templates now for Xamarin Forms, and we have a bunch for iOS, Android, tvOS, watchOS, all the OSs. Okay. So you can literally in like under a minute go file new Xamarin Forms app, and, and you're ready to go. You're ready to go, and okay. you can hit okay. play, and it puts it right there on your Android emulator, on the iOS simulator. So look, the mind is turning. What is the one thing that absolutely for us people have got to get back into Xamarin, especially uh -huh. for IoT? Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the one thing I should go and try now? Like, what are we, what should we, the guys yeah. out there too, looking at us, what do they try now? Yeah. So I think the main thing to try now is Xamarin Forms 4.0. We've got the latest pre-release out. Uh, it'll be going stable very soon. So with it, you get Shell. Shell allows you to very quickly set up your flyout, your tab Shell's bars. Good. Shell's good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Shell, you think of the shell of your application as the container, right? Uh, makes it really easy to do URI-based navigation which people love from using frameworks like Prism and things like that. Um, and then visual with uh, material design. So you can bring material design in very easily to have iOS and Android look the same, or you can bring in your own design system. Uh, so whether you want to do fabric or you know your corporation's design. Um, and you can make your iOS and Android look the same or different depending on your choice. Uh, so those are the hot new things that we're shipping right now. Xamarin Forms is absolutely what people love. They love their XAML, they love their C Sharp, they love their Visual Studio. And you know, we listen very closely to customers to iterate on what they want. Okay, so you, really quick, before we have to go. What's the cool thing about IoT? You gotta tell me something's gotta be cool about IoT, Xamarin. I mean, you said IoT, so you gotta give me at least one thing. Uh, well, I think the coolest thing with IoT is mostly what the what the community does with it, right? Okay. Well, I was just watching a Twitch stream this past week, and a, a guy was setting up his lawn sprinkler system using a Xamarin Forms app to do that. Uh, another one of our developers in the UK is doing a uh, robotic hand for a kid in his neighborhood that was born without the limb. And he's using Xamarin Forms to configure that, and he's doing all the robotics himself. Yeah. So, we, I, so in other words, I gotta get on this. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Right. It's very okay. cool stuff. Yes. You got it. Build a device, build a mobile app with Xamarin to work it. I, I'm sold. Are you guys sold? Great. We're sold. Yeah. We're sold. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, this has been super exciting for me. Um, but you think we're done? We're not, because I have to get them to tell me. Because again, IoT is cool. Uh -huh. And I don't want to hog the IoT discussion. Right. But 
we talked a lot about, okay, what you can do, the forms. What is the, you gotta give us more. What's the second thing I can do? So I did forms. Oh. And I, you tell me about IoT. I, I'm a developer, you gotta tell me the good stuff that I can do today. Like, when they go out, they're gonna bust open Visual Studio. Sure. What, I mean, what else can I do? I right. need more. Well, you can very easily connect to any kind of an ASP server. Right? Yes. Oh, uh, Signal yes. R, one of our uh, principal program managers, See, nice. James uh, Montemagno, just did a session on Signal R. Uh, so you can do that very nice rapid push notifications to yeah. your app and get, see your data update real time. He just built a chat so, app in so 20 minutes. No way. Right yeah. on okay. the stage over there. So we have natural <laughs> integration between Xamarin and Signal R? Yes. No way. We do. Yeah, very okay. tight integration. Uh, Custom Vision, uh, any of the Azure Cognitive services, yes. oh, nice. totally fun. Nice. Yeah, absolutely, yes. you can play with that. So we can see this cool new app, otherwise I'll have to just jump on James later, is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah. okay. hit, hit James up, yeah, okay. for sure, he'll okay. share it with you. So we had the breakouts, I didn't know anything about this Signal and Xamarin. Yeah. Look at all this cool stuff you guys are sharing with yeah. um, Anything else that we absolutely should know and should do with Xamarin? Like again, Ooh. I'm, I'm super excited. What's the next thing that you gotta, so a lot of the work we've been doing uh, is in the space of just improving the developer workflow. Yeah. So, you know, it's not all about new features, but it's about the quality of the product itself. Right. So like Android build times, for example. I've gone way down. So we put a lot of work from start to finish developing an app. I mean, even installing it has gone from like 23 gigs to 7 gigs. <gasps> Yes. So that much smaller, and now the Android emulator runs on Hyper-V. I was about to ask you about the emulator. Okay. Yes, so, which is amazing. Pain. This was a pain. I'm gonna yes. tell you, I, this is the part I hated about it. Yeah. The emulator. Oh. Yeah. So for anyone who's done yeah. long-term, you know, Android development, oh, the yeah. emulator. I'm sorry, it sucked. So tell <laughs> us what's good about it now. Yes. Good. I want to know yeah. about this. Well, I'm as I, you may know, you can actually manage all your Android virtual devices inside of Visual Studio. Oh, so, the integration is much tighter than what you experienced. Yeah. Back in the day. It is amazing. So you literally are like, oh, I want to deploy my thing to Android. Great. You hit Android Virtual Device Manager in Visual Studio. It gives you a nice box. You hit New. And if you have Hyper-V enabled and you choose an x86 image, it just automatically makes it accelerated for you. Yeah. And then it Instant turns Buddha. on and Instant runs. Buddha. Nice. That yeah. wasn't there before. Yes. No, so we've been before. giving Android a lot of love. Tell me about what I can do now with iOS. Ooh, there's a lot. Uh, one thing is we've worked a lot on like the pair to Mac connection. So as I'm sure a lot of people who have ever tinkered in mobile development know, you need a Mac to do iOS apps. I need a Mac. That's why I have a Mac. I right. Have a Mac. Yes. Right. It's 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 a requirement, and that's just how it is. So what we've worked a lot on is when you're developing Android on Windows, and say you have a Mac Mini in a closet somewhere, but it's on your Wi-Fi network or whatever it is, you can hit pair to Mac, and it connects you to your Mac. You can use the iOS designer inside of Visual Studio on Windows, Whoa, and designer? drag and drop in Windows. On Windows. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. And it's it amazing. Delight. And you can hit play and actually get an iOS simulator pop up on Windows. So you don't even have to switch devices. You can just see everything right there. This is all very new. And it's stable and fast, which is what we've worked really hard on. I'm heading used to like, okay, device here, device here, it pulls up. Yeah. No more of that? Nope. You guys have done a lot while I've been gone. What's, you've been busy. Oh, were we we've supposed been, to just wait? We didn't want to pull away from out? me. I mean, really, what else were you supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that's cool. All right, so you guys have any other cool sessions coming up we should let people know about? We oh, do we have do. sessions, yes. Nice. What do we have here? We have well, a 1230 session, building fast. This is your session. This is mine. Oh, fast data-driven mobile UIs with Xamarin Forms 4.0 and Visual session. Studio 2019. Oh yeah, she's yes. got a great session. Yes. session. You gotta pump your own session. <laughs> yeah, which is exciting. So it's gonna be definitely more on the getting started. So if you're new to Xamarin or you're just coming back into it after a long time, this is a really great 20 minutes, bam, bam, bam. We're gonna open up a template and make it do some real actual app stuff, which is great. You, just, is said, you just said bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. So Miguel has a session <laughs> with James. At the same uh, that's time. That's the big session, big also session. at 12. 30. So we have competing sessions. So much that's Xamarin that we had to compete against each other. <laughs> it was just that good. You couldn't. Okay. Well, cool. Yes. All right. Well, this has been live with my old school Xamarin crew. But um, <laughs> it's up to you that if you're going to miss out all of this coolness with Xamarin. Now, because I'm here and I have to push the IoT, because I just love IoT, it is now up to me to take forth their challenge to build something cool in a mobile yes. to tie to IoT. Yeah. I mean, 
We, we got to marry these Absolutely. two wonderful things. Absolutely. I've already thrown down the sprinkler system. Sprinkler and, sprinkler the, sprinkler and the and the robotic and then you added the, cogn the cognitive, cognitive service. service. Yes. You kind of did put a lot of our play, didn't you? Come on. I accept the challenge. Do it. I accept the challenge. Uh, we right. had someone stop by the booth today, and he pulled out his app and showed me how he had put his house in away mode with a Xamarin Forms oh, app. That's it was what amazing. That's what I'm talking about. And okay. he had a bunch of sliders, so he talked about visual and material design and how much prettier it'll look. Okay. In all fairness, I just accept this because when I was across the pond somewhere, I've done this, so I got to do it with Xamarin. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Any more challenges for me before we go away? Whew. Well, I could continue, but I think we're all right. I think we're out of time. Okay, they're kicking us out of here live. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget, we're going to cut now to John Papa, who's going to talk about some coolness about being productive with JavaScript development. And if you know John Papa like I do, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>